Okay, good morning, kid. Okay. Today I'm going to show us how to use a Casio's FX five seven zero EX plus weekly model calculator to solve the initial value problem of the first order two shape equations y prime equal to fx y given the initial condition and x equal to x naught y equal to y naught okay, for the interval x naught up to x n increment of step side page using tools method of call as modified Euler's methods. The solution of this case of E for the equation 1 by tools method is given by yi plus 1 equal to yi plus k1 plus k2 over 2 where the pi is actually start from 0, 1, 2, and so on. Means given the y nodes, we can find the y1. Given y1, we can find y2, and so on. In given k, y nodes, we can get y1. is simply y nodes plus k1 plus k2 over 2. Okay, when i equal to 0, your k1 will be the page at x node y nodes. Okay, we replace i by 0. k2 is actually page fx plus page. In the variable x become x plus page. Variable y become y plus k1. Okay, or implicitly, we can write the formula okay, by tools method as yi plus 1, yi, k1 plus k2 over 2, we substitute k1, k2. Once we get the implicit formula, h over 2, k bracket, f, x, i, y, i, this is a k1, okay, this part is a k2, k2 which is k, h, the upper way, so f, x, i plus h, y, i plus k1. Okay, for example, okay, solve the initial value problem y prime equal to x over y, k given, Okay, this is y bracket 0 equal to 1 is actually when x equal to 0, y equal to 1, and x equal to 0, okay, this is a page, which is 0 0.2 until 1. Then we are going to solve okay, the y okay, at x 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 up to 1 using tools method. Okay, and given this is exactly solution, find the absolute values. So first step okay, um, from the y prime into y prime equal to x over 1. Okay. The right hand side function is actually what we label as function of fx1. Fx1. Okay. So fx1 is x over y. Okay, given the initial conditions, y bracket 0 equal to 1. Okay, solve it from x0 increment 0 0.2 up to h okay, up to the last value of x, which is 1, turns k the h is equal to 0 0.2. Okay, and the second step, we may tabulate the x value and fill in the y nodes. Okay, okay. We have x from 0, increment 0.2 up to 1. So we tabulate the, tabulate the x value. Okay, our i start from 0. So this is x node, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. When x0, y is 1. So we fill in okay, all the x value first, okay, and then fill in the initial condition from y bracket 0 equal to 1. Okay, now we're going to calculate the k1. Okay, k1 using the tools method is actually k1 is equal to h f x i y1. Okay, we add iteration 0. So the k1 is actually in general k1 is a 0 0.2 okay the fxy because we have the y prime equal to x over y so the fxy is actually x over y x over y so k1 is actually h which is 0.2 in equivalent 0.2 x over y so k1 dependent is xi y up so when you add i equal to 0, the k1 is dependent on x dot 
So when i is 1, k1 will dependent on x1, y1. So k1 will be hp multiplied x over 1. So x is xi, yi. k2, h, y2. f, x plus h, yi, yi plus h. So it means that k still the same function fxy x over y only the variable x now x plus h or h is point two. So the variable x become x plus point two. Variable y become y plus k one. K n the y i plus one will be y i plus k one plus k two divided by two. Where the i start from zero one two and so on. It means y1 will be y0 plus k1 plus k2 divided by 2. Okay, now I'm going to show okay, how to calculate okay, or solve this ODD by tools method. First, we use okay, the normal okay, the normal calculate menu. Okay, normal the calculate menu. So we have tabulate the x value and then we have fill in so why not? So I'm going to calculate the k1. K1 at so we're going to calculate k1, k1 when i equal to 0. Okay. So I'm going to input the k1 0.2 xi or yi. Of course in calculator we do we have the iteration thing or variable. We just input 0.2 x divided by 1. So, mm -hmm. so input k1 formula as 0.2 alpha x divided alpha 1. So in calculator we can input the formula using the red color variable a, b, c, d, e, f, x, y, n. Okay, after that you calculate. Okay. So when in first row i equal to 0 when you want to calculate k1, k1 here, so k1 you need x and y. So first of all, they prompt you the x value. So in this row, so the x will be 0. Okay, your y will be 1. So you get 0. Okay, so focus on k1, okay, I calculate, I will take k2. Okay, now we are going to calculate k2. K2, I'm not going to input another formula. Okay, I'm going to use back the K1 formula, but when you cal calculate, calculator asks you for X, X will input 0 plus L. Then you indicate I0, so 0 plus L, H, which is 0.2. Okay, when they ask for Y, Y value, I think Y plus K1. Okay, of course you can input another formula, then you plug in X and Y. Okay, but I'm going to standardize it. Okay? Just input one formula so that this method is extend it to okay, um, RK4 mod method, what order runs Puta method. Because if you watch uh, what order runs Puta method, it will input K1 as a formula, K2 as a formula, K3 as a formula, K4 as a formula. Okay, your calculator will take okay, out of memory, especially if your function fxy is not. So, that's why I click on, we are going to standardize okay, for Hughes method, no point, up to Archiform method, we will just key in K1 formula only. So, when you calculate, when they come for X and Y, you can look back the function here. Okay, X here depends on X plus H, Q Y depends on Y plus K1. Okay, so now I'm going to calculate K2, so I calculate okay, X. Okay, so looking here for first method, x is x plus h. Okay, the x zero plus h. So when we keep zero plus h, so is then zero plus h, which is point two. Okay, we're asking why. Okay, y value for k two is again y plus k one. In this row, so is y this value at up here one plus zero. So one plus 0. So you get 0 0.02. 0 0.02. 
Okay, I will copy okay, the rest and then show you the exact script solution later on. Okay, so now we move to this one to this. So we are in row I, row I. Okay, after you obtain K1 and K2, you can find Y1. Okay, Y1 will be a Y0 plus K1 plus K2 divided by 2. So I input the Y, okay, the new Y formula. Okay, I'm going to input as this way. Okay, this formula I'm going to input as this first. Okay, I will input the formula as Y equal Y plus K1 plus K2 I do not as A plus B divided So alpha Y the equal is the red color equal alpha equal okay and then alpha y plus alpha a plus alpha b okay, go down divide by two okay you see what the difference I input y equal y plus a plus b is okay by by two it means my result here the result here later you obtain is save into variable one. Variable one. Okay, so you see what we need to do. Okay. Okay. Right. So why when you calculate y1, the y is at the your y not which is one. Okay. A is a k1 which is zero. We press equal b okay. take the previous slope, the latest previous slope. So b is zero one. Zero four. So one point zero two. Okay, one point zero two here is actually same in variable one. So later on when you calculate k one, the asking the x will just into point two. The asking y okay, is always stored in the memory. So you just get uh press it. Okay, now we calculate back k one. Copy back K1, search back K1 formula, which is 0.2 x divided by 1. Okay, you calculate. Okay, the asking x. So x value because uh, just now coincidentally we press 0 plus x0 plus k you get 0.2. Okay, if you want to accept this value, you just go down. Okay, y. So y value, you don't need to key in because when we calculate y1 just now, y plus a plus b over 2. The result is 1.02 is keep in variable y, so you have the value. Okay, so if you want to accept, so you just input, so you get here, k1 is 0 0.0392. Okay, now calculate k2. Use that the same formula of k1, calculate your k2. Okay, okay the asking x. Remember, okay, for k2, x is actually x plus h, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2, we should have 0.4. Okay, they're asking for y. Hey, okay, for k2, y will be of this y, the current y plus the current k1. So, key in 1.02 plus 0 0.0392. So you get 0.0755. So mean I use the same K1 formula for K2. So remember for Q's method, X is actually your current X plus the page. Y is actually the current Y plus the current K1. Then you get the K2. After you get K2, you want to get K. Uh, now go down. Go down. If you want to get Y number 2. Get y number two. Y number two. Search back the y formula. Okay, this one. Calculate. Okay. Calculate. So we calculate the new y dependent on the old y. Okay. So this is the a. This is the b. Okay. New y depend on the old y. The latest old y plus the latest k one. Latest k two. Where K1, K2, I do not as an A, B in the calculator. Okay, so, to get the Y2, the Y will be okay, 1, 
1.074 Okay, so now to calculate the K1, search back, K1, calculate. So, here K1, okay, remember K1, X is 0.4. Calculate K1 depends on current X and current Y. X 0.4, correct, so you go down, get Y. Uh, 1.04874. The y, this one can be up to four decimal place. So, but this is pick up all the decimal place. So, to accept this one, you just equal k1 0 0.0743. Calculate k2. Calculate k2. Remember k2 x is 0.4 plus 0.2. We get 0.6. 0.6. Y or K2 is a current Y plus current K1. So 1.0774. K1 plus 1.0774 plus current K1 0.0743. Okay. So we get 0.10. Then to calculate the okay, cool down. To calculate y number three, y number three, search back the y formula. Okay, calculate. Okay, so y now go down or what was it y? Y this is y, this is a, this is b now. So previous case. Y A B raise it. So Y is the couple Y number three depend on Y number two. One point zero seven seven four. A from from point zero three nine two go down become point zero seven four three. Hit B from point zero seven five five go down become point one zero. Two. Okay, one point one six six seven. One point one six six seven. Okay, we calculate K one at I equal to three. Search back your K one formula. Copy. So at I equal to three, K one x is point six, which is correct. So then we just go down. Y is one point one six six seven, which is correct. Just equal. Then you get here, 0.1029. You then to calculate K2, you use the same K1 formula calculate. Okay, but X, remember, is what? The current X plus H. So 0.6 plus 0.2, you get 0.8. Okay, and then for K2, to calculate uh, K2, Y is actually the current Y plus the current K1. So we have 1. 0.1667 plus uh, K1, which is 0 0.1029. Okay. So now to calculate Y number 4, Y number 4, so now we we'll have here. To calculate y number 4, search back your y formula, calculate. Okay. So y number 4, it depend on y number 3. So this is a, a, this is a b. Okay. So this is y, this is a, this is b. Okay. The previous one, you can erase, erase, erase. Okay. So y, y number 4 depend on y number 3, okay, which is 1.1667. One, a is okay, on point zero 
seven four three go down become point one zero two nine. Okay, B. Y four depend on I equal to three. Yeah? So this is a B of so you can see from the previous B you go down one row become point one two six zero. We get one point two eight one two. Point two eight one two. Okay, and then we we'll calculate K one, K two at I equal to four. Such that the K one formula we calculate. Okay, K one at I equal to four. This is the X huh? current slope X point eight, which is correct. So four go down. Take Y already keep in variable Y. One point two eight one two. Okay, then we just equal okay, change the floating point to get y one two formula. Okay, use back k one formula to calculate k two. Okay, and then calculate okay for k two. Remember is your x plus h. So the current x is point two plus h will have one. Okay, and then they're asking y for k two. Y is a current y plus current. K one, so one, one, two, eight, one, two, plus point, uh, K one, point, one, two, four, nine. Change the floating point to point one four two two, and then to calculate Y number five, K Y number five. Y number five. So search back okay, the Y formula. Copy the Y. Okay, y number five depends on Y number four. So this is A. This is B. The previous okay, value erase, erase. Okay. So Y now Y five depends on Y number four, which is one point two eight one two. A from point one zero two nine will go down become the latest K one and K two, which is point one two four nine. Okay. B from point two by one two six six zero will go down become point one four two two point one four two two. So you get one point four one four eight. Yeah. Lastly, one point four one four eight. Okay. To get your exact key solution, in the key in exact solution, okay, because okay, to quickly key in the exact solution, you can use the paper mode because they have a starting point zero, ending one, increment is point two, okay, so you may use key the table number nine. To input the functions. Which is square root alpha x square plus one. Okay, equal starting from zero, ending is one. Step side is point two. Okay, then we get okay, the value. Okay, one one point zero one nine eight. 1.0.7.0.1.1662.1.2806 So you can calculate the absolute absolute error taking the y the absolute value of y between the exact one you get this absolute error okay now I'm going to show see how you can calculate this thing easily Using the spreadsheet we need. Number eight spreadsheets. Okay, first of all, you the I no need to fill in because your spreadsheet it consists five rows and five columns. So if you want to do RK four, not enough. X Y K one K two K three K four six column, but K okay, the classic model 
provide only five columns A, B, C, D, E. So not enough to do your uh, article. So okay, X will be filled in in column A. This is in column A. Column A. X is column A, Y in column B, K1 in column C, K2 is in column D. Okay, and spreadsheet start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. They are row start from 1. So, okay, first of all, calculate the X value, 0, and then 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and then one. Go up. Go up. Next step, after you tabulate the x value, fill in the initial condition when x zero y equal to one. So y equal to one. Okay, later on, put out okay, the k1 formula. Okay, k1 formula. Okay, to put out the K1 formula, we base K the previous using the calculate menu formula. Okay, to input the K1 formula into your spreadsheet, K1 is 0.2x divided by 0.2x over 1. So I'm going to key in the K1 formula as K1 is in cell C2, uh, C1. So go to cell C1, input 0.2, okay, X is okay, when you calculate K1, the X is in cell A1, so A1 divided by X, which is in E1. Then to equal alpha equal, okay, 0.2, X is stored in A1, so alpha A1, Okay, in spreadsheet, it's not natural display. So be careful the bracket. So alpha B1. So you get, okay, this is a K1 formula. You want to see the formula shift, uh, shift menu, spreadsheet number four. Number two to show the cell, show the formula. So you can see you key in point two A1 divided by B1. Okay, and then okay, just now, okay, I can keep it. I'm going to okay. If I if you don't want to key in again, uh, this this new formula, especially if your f x y is very long, you want to copy the k one formula with slightly more duplication, where the x can become x plus h which is point 0.2 and then y become y plus l k1 which is all in cell c1 okay, so just now if i want to edit back this formula okay to fix the column of x and column of, of um, y yeah? so options i would like to edit the cell number three okay, and then i want to fix it so options okay number one the dollar option the dollar okay the dollar okay here means I will fix column A column B but I'm not fixing the row okay? fix column A so that when I copy the formula when I copy the formula okay column A will maintain column A column B maintain column B if not when you copy to the next column okay your formula column uh, a1 will become B1, B1 will become C1. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, copy this formula, options. Okay, 
This one I should enter and not AC at the clear. So you see now my formula now. I have a dollar, dollar, if I fix column A and column B. So now I'm going to copy this formula options. Okay. I'm going to paste to column B1. So I move to column B1. AC to clear the form. So it sees that okay. Now I copy this point to dollar A1 divided dollar B1. So if I have dollar, when I copy it, it will maintain the same. Okay, or show you first without a uh, okay. I will show you, let's say without this okay, put out the dollar so option. Edit back the formula. Okay, edit is number three. For example, I just delete. Huh? Okay, I, I sell A1. I don't want to fix no. Okay, now I copied this formula for you to see. Options. Go down. Number two. Place it to equal. Then I AC. Okay, so you see. Initially, in column C, I put formulas 0.2A1 divide dollar B1. 0.2A1 divide dollar B1. A1 is actually my X. Okay. And then B1 is actually the Y. And then I'm going to copy the formula because the same formula. I just want to edit X become X plus H. Y become Y plus K1. Okay. But you see, if I don't put dollar, okay, initially, Okay, this is A1 divided B1. Okay, when I copy it, it becomes B1. Okay, B1 is strict because I got dollar. Um, but A1, yeah, I don't put dollar. When I copy it, okay, A1 in column C1, when I copy it to B, it becomes B1. So this is what I don't want. Okay, that's why. Okay, for cell okay, C1, okay, option, okay, I'm going to edit. Okay. This one, I want it to fix. So when I copy formula A1, maintain A1. So I need to get the dollar there to fix column. And then it's equal so that you apply the formula. So now when you copy it, you will exactly the same formula because it fix at column 1. But the copy it down, if you copy it down, A1 will move to A2. B1 move to B2. But we copy it across column. Okay, your column A always maintain column A, column B always maintains column B. So now options, go down, to copy, and then we paste, we paste C, not C. Same formula, right? Okay, so now I'm going to edit the formula for K2. So option, okay, edit is number 3, okay, point 2. Okay, plus the H is always, H is always plus 0.2. Okay, so because in spreadsheet it's not natural display, so be careful the bracket, put it the correct bracket. Okay, so B1 plus K1, K1 in, first row, the K1 is actually in cell C1. So plus alpha C. C is in C. K1 don't fix anything. Don't fix anything. Because if you want to extend the concept to RK4, K1, we only fix X, Y, or K1, K2, K3, K4 don't fix anything because we want it to relatively change to column. Okay, and you must uh, you must uh, confuse uh, why I want to fix. Can I straight away key this formula? Also can, but especially if your F1, if your function is very complicated, then you need to input 
two time formula. So with this fixed column notation, you just make sure you key in your QR formula correctly. You can copy it when you fix your X and Y. When you copy the K2, here you just open the bracket. So at the X there you plus the H. Y there you open, close bracket, Y plus K1. K1 is stored in cell C1. And so you see, point 2, hit bracket, hit dollar is actually new, fixed at the column A1. So when you copy formula, it's always at column A. Plus, okay, now this is a page. Huh? So this uh, in the cell D1, key in the formula for K2. So, okay, you want to see the formula unless you add this cell here. Now you can see. Divide B1 is a Y plus C1 is actually the K1. Okay, now move to the next iteration to calculate Y1. To calculate Y1, uh -huh. Y1 depends on Y nodes, right? So in the calculator, okay, your Y1 is in cell B1, uh, B2. So in the cell B2, you put in Y1, this is cell B1, this is C1, this is D1. So B2, we have the formula B1 plus C1 plus B1 divided by 2. Alpha B1 plus Alpha C1 plus Alpha D1. Divide by 2. You get 1.02. Okay, if you use spreadsheet, okay, you no need to input each time, huh? like just now, calculate or no. To calculate a I new mean y, input the y, k1, k2 formula. To calculate k1, input the x and y. Calculate k2, the x is actually x plus h, y, k2, or y is actually y plus k1. Each time we have to input the new input. If you use spreadsheet, you can copy and paste easily. Just make sure you key in K1, K2 formula and Y1 formula correctly. Then you copy paste down the formula. Because this spreadsheet is actually you can copy formula and formula is relatively changed according to rule and columns. So with this, I'm going to copy the K1 formula down some options. Okay. And then number two, copy. So go down, equal to press. We go down, equal to press. Go down, equal to paste. Sorry, press. Go down, equal to paste. Okay. okay. So all in one point zero two because we haven't updated or haven't copied the K one formula down. Okay. And then you AC to clear the paste. Okay. Now copy the K one formula. Options, copy, go down to paste, go down to paste, go down to paste, okay. go down to paste, paste up to point eight in one, okay, and paste. Okay. Because y number five depends on y at so, uh, k one at up to zero point eight only. Okay. Similarly, go up, go up okay, to copy the K2 formula. Okay. K2 formula, options, go down, number 2 to copy and paste, okay. go down, paste, go down, paste, go down, paste, go down, paste. Okay. Now, the AC. So now you have all the paid results. So if you want to view okay, the value, okay, this is show formula, you want to view the value, shift, turn on, go down, number four, number two, number two. Let me see all the value. So you can straight away copy down all the results to fill in this table for solution of initial value problem using the Q's method. Okay, check me.
Okay, the answer run a little bit at the last digit okay, compared to the calculate menu. Okay, because calculate menu, okay, uh, to calculate, for example, the Y, we still input 4 decimal place of the okay, Y5, Q in the Y4, K1, K2, we input 4 decimal place. But in the okay, spreadsheet menu, it takes up all the decimal place. Just a display purpose here. We Fix at four decimal places. You see this one. Okay, number format. Okay, this one I fix to the one now. Just display purpose. It show all the decimal places, but in actual calculation, it pick up all decimal places. That's why the answer is slightly different because spreadsheet be more accurate. It pick up all the decimal places compared to this one. The input take four digit only. Take four decimal places only. So okay, with this way, I would like to conclude back to calculate using spreadsheet menu. Spreadsheet menu. Okay, we tabulate the x value, input the y value, calculate the uh, input the k1 formula in the cell c1. In cell c1, show for the shift menu, go down, go to form, show cell. Show formula input as a point two a one divided by b one because x store in a one y store in one okay but I input I fix okay, a dollar there by press option you can see you have a dollar there so this way means when I copy the formula c one to d one it maintain the same formula I just open the bracket close bracket x for k two is actually x plus my k that's why I want, when I copy the formula, A1 maintained as A1, B1 maintained as B1. So I use a fixed here. And then the Y, K, or K2, Y is actually Y plus K1. So K1 is stored in cell C1. And then it copies down, uh, it put out the formula for Y1. Okay, Y1 is actually okay, in cell B1, uh, B2, uh, B2. Depend on y y one which is a uh, y node which is b one plus c one plus d one divided by two. Let the rest you just copy the formula. Copy formula option. Go down number two. Copy and paste. And then you just go down. Press equal equal to copy. Okay. If you want to calculate using calculate menu, calculate menu. Same thing. You tabulate the x. Fill in the y nodes. Calculate k one. Using the formula by two x divided by y for k one okay, x and y in the current slope for k two the x is the current x plus h y is at uh, for k two the y is at the current y plus k one and then to calculate the new y the new y depend on the old y plus k one plus k two divided by two. So you input state the let's say for example y1 depend on y mox okay, and k1 k2 at i to group zero. Okay. So in this case, thank you for your patience.